Hey, it's Patrick from Frontly. I'm very excited to share our brand new AI block generation feature, which allows you to, with just a plain text prompt, generate a totally custom block made up of rows, columns, text, buttons, and other elements. So let's get started. I'll jump right into a demo and show you how you can use this in your app today. All you have to do is go to the Browse Blocks menu or click up here in the More section in the Blocks header. Either way, you'll end up in the Add New Block window. So this window is familiar, but there's a new item right here called Generate with AI. I'm gonna click that and all I have here is an input field where I get to describe the block that I'm looking to generate. So it can be pretty specific and I'll get something in line with exactly what I'm thinking, or it can be a bit vague and we'll see what AI generates based on its knowledge. So we'll try two or three different examples here so you can get a sense of how it works. So I'm gonna try something vague to start with. I'm just gonna say, I want a landing page for my outdoor gear company. Now I'm gonna click generate. So notice I haven't actually really described anything in particular other than a landing page, but we'll let AI decide what that actually means in this case. So usually it takes between five and 10 seconds to generate a block depending on the level of complexity. All right, here we go. So we've generated this uh, awesome little landing page. So it's pretty simple, but it's got an image at the top, title, subtitle, button here and a couple cards. So <laughs> you can see how crazy this is that you can just generate this custom with AI in a matter of seconds. And the best part is you can do whatever you want with it now. So maybe I wanna go click on these and I wanna make these images full width on this card. I can, I can just start making adjustments. I could of course add image URLs. I'm not gonna bother doing that right now. Um, I could just delete this section entirely and just make it two by two. So there's just a simple example of a landing page. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna delete this entire container. So we're back to a fresh page and I'm gonna start over, but I'm gonna try something a little more specific. So I'm gonna try writing, I want an e-commerce product card with an image at the top, full width, and another section with a title and description, and the bottom section with three icons side by side with labels beneath them. Now, that seems pretty good. Definitely more specific than what I had last time. Let's see how it does. So I'm just gonna click generate, and again, we'll wait a few seconds. Um, the amount of time that it takes to generate is really dependent on the amount of text and objects. Okay, so here we go. I've got my card pretty much exactly as I described it. So I think, um, again, it's it's really powerful because I can just go edit it now. So it's not really, even if it wasn't how I described it exactly, it probably still saved me a lot of time. And especially if you're just getting into Frontly, you're trying to learn how to build things, this is an incredible way to just see what kinds of things are possible. And of course, we have tons of tutorials as well, but this is a really great way to start. So I'm gonna just refresh the page one more time, start totally fresh, and I'm gonna try some other option. So let me think. Um, I actually have um, a document here with a few examples. So let's see, what can we do? Ah, a testimonial slider. Yeah, that one's kind of cool. So I actually asked ChatGPT to generate a bunch of examples so that I could use them in this video. So, you know, I can't help myself. All right, I'm gonna start by clicking generate with AI. This time I'm just gonna paste this in just to save time. So we've got a testimonial slider with a large quote at the center, a small circular image of the person giving the testimonial, their name and their position below the quote. So sounds pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I think a testimonial would be nice. We don't really have, oh man, that's great. Look at that. It's just exactly what I asked for, exactly what I was imagining. So this is great. Now, one thing that's um, really cool is, so all, all of these blocks are gonna be generated at full width. So when you, when you have blocks that are at the root level of the page, as in not inside any other container, they're always gonna be full width. 
So there's something you can do about that if you notice that all of these are kind of a strange width. So this is why. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna add a row to the root of the page. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag my, I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna drag this inside the row. So it's still the same size, except now what I can do, if I go over to my page level view, I can click on the column, which is the one that's containing this new block that was generated. And now I can change the size of this block. So instead of fill remaining space, I can turn that off and then I can set the width to some specific value. There you go. So now my width is 300. So you can see I have a bit more control. Um, if I wanted to, I could even copy and paste this now, let's say three times, all of a sudden I've got this awesome three testimonial view. Um, if I want, I can, I can get rid of my panels here and get a little more space. Uh, if I, if I want to go into my row, I can also create some other um, spacing rules. So I could space them out 30 pixels, or I could even use the um, space between setting to give it a bit more space like that. And so, yeah, anyway, you can see the, the limitations are uh, few now, really. There's, there's a lot you can do with this, and it's just a matter of what you can think of and then the editing that you do after. So I hope you really enjoy this feature. I hope it helps speed up your app development process. Thank you so much for watching. I'm excited to see what you build. Please join the community and post your creations in the community because we're all very excited. Thank you.